Living in a changing world. The world we are living in is changing and we are in a time of warfare, a war of recovery. As we allow God to transform us and keep us strong through crisis situations, He can flow through us and use us mightily. God can heal us from everything we have been through so that we can have impact on those around us. Proverbs 18, 14 says, The spirit of man within can withstand the weakness that attempts to overtake, weaken and defeat. But who can withstand a broken spirit? Our brokenness has to be healed. There is a spirit within you that can overtake, that can withstand, and that can cause you to triumph. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence. Holy Spirit, we know that you Jesus said, the kingdom of God is within you and the violent take it by force. Even though great pressure may come against you, you have a greater force in you and you can overcome. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the whole world. The spirit of man, the kingdom of God within you, can keep you above the war of the earth, the flesh and the enemy. As we submit to God and resist the devil, he must flee and we win. We are here for such a time as this, so we can handle anything that comes against us in this changing world. As we submit to Jesus, who died for us, we then invite His Spirit to dwell in our spirit. That is when we gain access to the Father's wisdom, wisdom that Satan cannot get. The kingdom of God within us can keep us above the war on the earth, the flesh and the devil. We get familiar with His voice, have access to His wisdom and know when to go left and when to go right. Spirit hovers over chaos and He does it through us as we operate in the gifts that He has given us. We integrate who we are with Him and we make a difference in this world. And may the God of peace, the God of wholeness Himself sanctify you 
through and through. The war is not over position. We are seated with Christ. We have that. It is over condition, the condition of our inner self. Walking into wholeness is a process. Jesus came that we would have life and have it to the full, but the devil came to kill, to steal and to destroy. He steals from us. We are called to enjoy life. Our very core has to be rebuilt so it reflects heaven's will. We are made in His image. The Holy Spirit dwells within us and we are made new, but we still have a physical body and a soul. So once He is in us, we have to allow Him to transform our inner core, our mind, will and emotions. It all starts on the inside. Against all the chaos of the world, we must learn how to stay in communion with God every day. The enemy throws things at you to wound you, to get you into confusion and into bitterness. If you have been hurt and betrayed, you can forgive and you can be healed so that the enemy doesn't lead you astray and you can stay under the rule of God living with his guidance. If you stay strong on the inside, you can withstand what comes against you on the outside and operate in his power and have impact on the world around you. We can make a difference.